Hi, are you alright? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a review on a softbox. Now this is the softbox, it's off Amazon. ESDDI is the brand name on it. It's a, it's a budget one, it's not an expensive softbox. Uh, it arrived yesterday. I have already opened it up just to check the contents. They're all there and they're all undamaged. I've sealed it back up at this end uh, because my address label is on that end so I'm going to be opening it for you here. Uh, we'll also be putting it to the test at the end. I'll be comparing it to the lighting I've got now which is my normal workshop lighting. I've got it all turned on at the minute uh, and then I'll be setting this up and finishing off with the comparison to this. I won't know the difference between the images until I do the editing and put it on YouTube myself so you'll be able to uh, work out for yourself or see for yourself whether it's any good. Uh, it was £40, it's only a single softbox, I haven't got room for two softboxes in here. It would be cheaper or more beneficial to buy the, the twin packet. I think the twin packet is about £60. And uh, yeah, it came next day delivery from Prime membership. I have paid for it myself, it's not a sponsorship. However, the link for this will be underneath and if you follow that link same as all my videos anything that I do in the video uh, I'll put a link underneath and if you purchase from that link I'll get a little bit of commission uh, and when I say a little bit of commission it will be a little bit of commission uh, but no I do buy all my tools everything that I review on here I do buy myself I don't get them sent to me so I don't get paid for reviewing them so it's my honest opinion uh, like my last review video I don't know whether any of you actually watched it to the end, but I ended up nearly knocking my camera over when I chucked it. Uh, well, stick around. We will unbox it. I'll show you everything that's in here. Don't disappear halfway through. You can click through if you want, about a few seconds at a time. You might miss something important. But uh, at the end, you'll see it all set up, a different kind of lighting compared to this. What would you say? This is like a... Uh, it's not the daylight. Is it the daylight glow? I don't know what this is, this lighting. Oh, I've just looked at one of the bulbs and I've got a spot in my eye. Can't see. Right, let's get this open. No more faffing around. And as usual, if you've not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Button's down there. You know my logo that's just in the bottom of the video there has a subscribe button. Some people just put subscribe here. That's a bit rude. Please subscribe here, it should say. But uh, please subscribe, like the video, or unlike the video, it's up to you. If you don't like it, you can't please everybody. Don't advise opening boxes with knives because you might split through. Some people put the knife straight to. Oh my god, I've ripped it! But no, just a tiny little bit on the end. Uh, yeah, comment as well. Feel free to leave a comment in the video. Any comments on your thoughts? Anything you think might be better compared to this one? Not better in, I mean, everybody can improve in making the videos. You know, not, not, not everybody's willing to make videos. I'm an amateur. I'm working on getting better. But uh, no, leave comments at the bottom if you want. And any suggestions on anything you might want me to do a review on or if you want to send me something to do a review on if you if you've got a business and you're trying to sell something feel free to send it to me you can uh, go on my link my Facebook link and then message me privately and I'll send you my address so you can send me anything that you want me to do a review on uh, I'll obviously have to tell people that it's a uh, sponsored review Right, this is the, uh, the reflection chamber, if that's what you call it. That's the diffuser, see, I'm not a professional, I know that's a diffuser. That is the, the bulb with a Edison screw on it, the E27 screw. Most UK bulbs have got the bayonet screw, but nowadays with all the shipping and purchasing from around the world. We have Edison screws over here as well now. And there's the destruction manuals. Nice little case to come, it comes in. Uh, 
destructions, I always call them destructions. If you don't read them, you will destroy what you're doing. <coughs> this is the tripod. Now it's a very tall tripod, it's taller than me. It's not plastic. reposition that all right that's your tripod right, put that there that can go pretty wide as well so that's the widest right, if you got much you haven't got much room you can yeah, but, uh, I'll put it for there for now oh, sorry that way around I'll put it there for now so it fits on the table Pull back a bit, put that on the floor, I'll reposition it again. So that's one pole, just bring it down so you can see, and there's another pole inside there. So it does go higher than the shed roof. I've got to stop calling it a shed, I know it's a shed but it is my workshop, my small workshop. Anyway, that's that. Careful. This is the the soft box itself. Lighting chamber. I knew what it's called really. There's your plug. Obviously, if you buy this in America or Canada or wherever. I will have to sort out though, if you are watching in America, I will have to sort out the links for the American Amazon. Uh, I've got that set up but I haven't worked out how to link it up yet. Three pin plug, switch on it. Now you've got the, the bracket there. To put it on, you can either put it on that way. Or you can put it on sideways. It's got a 210 degree angle, so screws on there, and then you can position it in angle, you can either have it coming down, you can either have it high up coming down on top of you, low down coming up above you, or side on, or straight on, I'll be having it straight on when I set it up, so just let me move this out of the way, don't want you getting any ideas. Ah, the other way around, that's it. It has to go down to close it up onto it. That's it, that way around. Okay. Right, the soft. Open it up. Now, in the side there, you've got that guide there that just clips in. It's a bit like an umbrella. You push it in around. There you go. Clicks into place. I'll show you the bulb in a second. Imagine the bulb's already in there. There's your diffuser. It's got Velcro and an edge on it to so that will go on all the way around. See that? And fasten it with Velcro, the top, bottom, and the sides. Okay, and that's it, that's the size of it, about the size of my upper body. Let's just take that off for now and show you the bulb, and then I'll get on with setting it up and testing the difference between my usual lighting. Uh, unlike some of you, if you are using it for photography or filming, you've got your own studios, you'll be able to leave this set up all the time. Or if you're a mobile photographer, you can take it with you. I'd advise you to keep this. And keep the bulb in it. Look at the size of that bulb. 850 watts. 
So 85 watts. Where did I get 850 watts from? Bloody hell, I'll be sending signals to ships. 85 watts, sorry. And careful it screws in. Not screwing there that. And make sure you don't cross thread it, you don't want to snap this bulb. I want to imagine these to be. I would imagine this would be the most expensive part of this kit actually. This has got like a stone effect inside it. It is uh, fire retardant. And uh, this is pet fiber. I can't see it being a actual pet fiber. It's got to be a PET or something because that was written in capital letters. But uh, anyway, that'll go on top of there. Actually, let me put this back on now because that's in there. And then I'll get on with plugging it in and switching over from my workshop lighting to this. And we'll get on with editing the video. Putting out all my retakes, putting out all the babble that I normally say, and then not tripping over my words. Not everybody can do it all in one take, but that's it, that's set up. Ready to go on the tripod, put it down there somewhere behind the camera. I'll take a photo of it so as you can see, it, obviously, without the light on, so it'll just blind the camera. And I'll switch all my other lighting off, and we'll see the difference. Okay, catch you in a second. Well then, quick comparison now. This is uh, my normal lighting. This is with everything turned on. That is bright. And this is with the softbox. Now I've got it pit. I've got it up there, you know, just above. And it's not too bright for the eyes. Yeah, the dog. Shut up. Shut the hole in your face. Wants to get in on the action. Do you want to come in? Come on then. See? Oh, here she is. She wants to get in on the action. You done? There you go. Hello. Hello. Say hi. Just coming to give me a bath. See, there you go. Do you want to look at the camera? Sit down. Sit. There you go. And there you go. That's it. This is just with the softbox on. Perfectly bright enough. Well, I think it is anyway. I mean, to look at. I'll have a look when I'm editing to see whether it's much, much difference in the. Uh, it's softer as well, it's not reflecting off anything. Uh, you know, aren't you? you? Don't knock them off. You chop your toes off. Come on, over here. Well, there you go. Anyway, I'll edit it, you'll see it, and I'll uh, catch you next time. See you later. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Sausages. <laughs>